Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to part two of today's artistic license where we're playing some more of our Final Fantasy X to New Yevon run. Um, we're in Bevel right now. We're in Bevel right now. So here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we're going through and getting all the chests in Bevel underground, just like we'd like to do. All you really have to do for this area, um, as far as like the mission complete, is that first scene with Moroto you guys saw. Um, but we want all the chests. So this right here is some ethers. And there's a few more chests down here. All right, next chest is right here. Some remedies. Then we got to climb up these guys. I love when the monsters are just in the air and she just jumps and there then there they are just in the air just woo, hanging out in the sky All right, we don't have to do that little jumpy puzzle again because those chests don't refresh. It's the same ones as before and they're already open, so they don't they don't change. But this chest is a Phoenix Downs. Well, eight Phoenix Downs, not a Phoenix Town. <clears throat> All right, then over here, we're gonna get on this lift to the left. And there's this chest right here. And this is a Dispel Tonic. So then to get back out, we're gonna trigger that guy. And we're gonna trigger this one back here. Pepper jelly got my nose going just a little bit. Not much, just a tiny bit. Okay, and the reason why we're doing this is because here we go, here's a save point. That's the fastest way to get back to the airship. Okay, but guess what? We're not done with Bevel. So we gotta go back. All right, so instead of going down on that lift, we're gonna go to the right over here. Look, the gold wings. What'd you find, kindergartians? Look, look, look. Ta -da! We found it all by ourselves. Okay. Think those two will be okay on their own? Yep, yep, yep. 
They let me into the kindergartens too, ain't it cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's save. And let's, let's head in. Okay, so we remember this. We remember this from the, how much time we spent here when we did the, the week long of this game. Is it okay if I dim you on Discord? Yeah, 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 my TikTok and the clip. Yes, please, please do, please do. You should be able to get into my DMs. Where are we? From the cafe and from the RP. Oh. Oh, I wanted to say it. Oh, sorry. First in a year, you are. <laughs> Trying to get my nose to stop running. <laughs> sorry, guys. Oh, you don't look good, dude. You don't look good at all. This place was long sealed away until a man named Tremor came and unlocked its secrets. Into the depths alone he descended. Never did he return to the light. Nice story. About this Tremor, he... Huh? Parfait? Let's get out of here. Yeah, you kids better go. This is dangerous. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, right here we have Crimson Sphere number six. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's watch it. Let's go ahead and watch it now. Gotta watch it eventually anyway. What did you see? As soon... As soon as we went in... They became violent. Everyone. It must have been the Pyreflies. They swarmed around us, too. So many Pyreflies. We saw it. That... That apparition. Start making sense. It was a machina. An enormous machina. It trembled and growled. Like a beast. We I've saw that. Like it. <coughs> I saw the apparition. It got inside me. It made me feel fear, regret, despair. Same here. I can't explain why, but I felt so sad. Yeah. It was like somebody's raw emotions just came out of nowhere and hijacked my brain. Somebody? Somebody who? Why would they know? They said it's an apparition. Being so hard on them. They just went through something uh, traumatic. Is that all? Return to the command center at once. Protect the maester until the operation has concluded. That is your first mission as Crimson Squad members. Hmm. At least they got in, I guess. Well, that was passed. their goal. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did. Was it worth the trauma, boys? Run! <gasps> yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Pa passed. They passed. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Yevon is so fucking evil. <clears throat> Alright, within the labyrinth, the fiends will appear despite any special abilities or equipment you may be using. Okay. So yeah, you can't uh, you can't turn off encounters with uh with accessories. We're gonna go down to level twenty. Do like the first little mini boss of this area. If you remember right, there are um 
mini bosses. They're bought well bosses <laughs> on every 20th level down to level 100. So there's level 20 boss, a level 40 boss, level 60 boss, and a level 80 boss, and a level 100 boss. So we're gonna go do the boss for number 20. Oh, I think I don't know how to do this one without fighting the Tonberry. So I think I gotta fight the Tonberry on this one. There are ways to do all of these without fighting the little the Tonberries, um, but I don't know how to do all of them. Some of them I figured out. Some of them I haven't. I think this is one of the ones I don't know how. All right, let's wreck him, girls. Let's wreck him. <coughs> Yeah. You thought you thought you had me? You thought you had me, Ton Barry? You don't know. You don't know me. What? Lunar, what are you doing? <laughs> Is everything okay? <laughs> Is everything okay, Lunar? <laughs> What's happening right now? <laughs> oh yeah, we learned Mega Phoenix. Oh, yeah, Riku has the AP egg now. Oh my god. Yeah, unban it. <laughs> unban the Pokemon game. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening right now? <clears throat> okay, yeah, she can learn either. Oh my gosh, she's only at 39%. The other ability that's hidden right now must be like really big too. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> that was your my talk. <laughs> Oh my god, Lunar. So your dog said you're not allowed to have Pokemon. You already have me. <laughs> said you're not allowed. You have me. You don't need any Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it'll forgive you. I'm sure it'll forgive you. <laughs> I leave my phone on the floor for two minutes. <laughs> Your dog said, my opportunity is here. Like, I hate that Pokemon game. I've always hated that Pokemon game. Time to get fucking rid of it. That's what your dog said. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Ochu. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to do this one. So we gotta fight the Tonberry. <clears throat> That's okay, the little Tonberries is, is not bad. We'll get them pretty quick. Before they can really do much. Bow, bow, bow.
Alright, so I think we go this way for this one. Go around the Tom Berry. Behemoth! Oh. <laughs> we one-shot him. Nice we O-code. We O-code his ass. <laughs> nice. Oh, this one again. That I don't know. I don't know where the button is. Die, Tom Berry. I would walk around you if I knew how to make the thing lower without killing you, but I don't. So you gotta die. We are all nice knowing you. Scary. Trying to headbutt me. What did I do? I don't deserve that. We've got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, let's go fry him. Get to level twenty. She's still shaking this level from all the way back there. You just shake the whole level. Thanks for playing. Are we on our gill? Oh my gosh, even with Gillionaire, it takes like so long to get up the gill in this game. Let's do it. Might have to sell some more stuff to try to get it. I, mean, I sold extra accessories, but I'm sure I've got extra items too that I'm just like never gonna use. Thanks for playing. Oh, 
Bye, Tomberry. And there's a lot of enemies down here in this cloister area that I'm pretty sure are, like, unique to the area. So, like, certain oversouls and things that you might want to collect, you can only get here. Oh, super close up. Okay. We can go around him if we do this. There we go. Oh, good. The Pokemon community game is back. <laughs> he he must forgive you. It must forgive you, Lunar. It's okay. It came back. Came back since being banned. I just can't believe that out of all of the accounts that your dog could have misclicked to do that. It's really so funny that it was that one. <laughs> Don't tell my dog. I won't tell him is a secret. I have a secret between you and me. I won't tell him. <laughs> What floor are we on? Something teen. We're on the teens. Nice knowing you. Game over, man. Oh, floor 16, okay. Alright, dodge around the Tonberry. Dodge, dodge. There we go. Oh yeah, notice there's no mini-map in here either, but that's because all of the levels are like randomly generated, so you don't know which layout you're gonna get, but there are certain like set layouts that you would get. Like there's only so many different ones, and some of them only appear in certain like brackets, like the 1 through 20 versus the 21 through 40, etc. Alright, um, that was a Yuna ability.
Effortless. Yeah. I guess when she finishes Berserker, we can put her back on Dark Knight and she can finish learning all of those. Then we can have two full Dark Knights. Ooh, dodge around the Tomberry. Don't need that in my life. As few Tomberries as possible, please. Oh my god, it's the Chocobo Eater. But as a regular enemy that I one-shotted <laughs> instead of a mini-boss. All right, here we go, floor 20. Can't remember if I'm if I fight a battle or not. I'm scared. So I'm going to put on dream team. Just in case. So I can't remember if it makes me fight. Maester Kinok. He's unsent? Yeah, why not? Isn't everybody? Oh yeah, it's the crab! The very first boss is back, you guys! Oh my god. It's our arena instead of a... Uh... Okay, we gotta do... Not stash, I want... Yeah, no, it is stash, okay. Mega potion, and then darkness. And darkness. Okay, there we go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm here to talk with you again. Rude. Wait, so are you a spider instead of a- are you a giant spider? I guess he does have eight legs. He looks like a crab to me. But many animals look like crabs and are not actually crabs, as we know. Everybody keeps crabbing. That's the level 20 boss. The wandering unsent. Do you think there are more in here? Probably. Uh, I think we should go home now. Let's ease their pain. You're going? Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew it. Did you see that on the floor, though? Look. Oh my gosh, it's Crimson Sphere 8. Let's watch it. I'm glad you're all right. You're not mad. Mad. I kept you from dying. Can owe me one. Why did you follow us? I want to know what it was you all saw back there. Problem is, we don't know. We'll figure it out one of these days. We'll tell you then. Hmm. Well, the Maester's not going to be pleased when he finds out we're still alive. Moving as a group is too risky. Want to split up? That would be wise. Your work's done. Why are you still recording? Uh. Mm. One for old time's sake. Yeah, they do a really good job laying low after this, huh? They all become leaders of their factions.
Oh shit. Loot. I said your work's done. Nude shot them all on camera. Okay? No doubt. No doubt that happened. They told us it happened. It happened. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're only going to level 20 right now. We're not going to proceed. So we're going to actually head back up. Okay. And after that, we should be at 88.8 .8 percentage. Um, after that, because we did get some percentage points by doing all of that in Bavel. So, let's make sure that's the case. Come on, there we go. Okay, 88.8, .8, yes. Alright, I checked with our tool. Alright, let's get back on the airship. Okay, our next stop is going to be Makalania. So, let's go see what's going on in Makalania. So even though we got the, the episode complete, look, it's a hot spot again. So don't worry, there's lots more than 20 levels. There's 100 levels. So we're going to be going back. But right now, we're going to go to Makalania. There's a couple chests here. So if we go along the forest path just a little bit... I think it's on the very next screen. <clears throat> oh, we're still on Dream Team. That's unnecessary. Here comes my truck car. The animation for Doom takes so long. I guess there's no choice. And Dark Knights are immune to it anyway. I wanted to save this for something special. We've got bigger fish to fry. Okay, let's put them back to what they were doing before. Before I forget. So, Yuna was doing um, Lady Luck for the Gillionaire. And Payne was doing Berserker. All right, where is it? It's on this screen somewhere, huh? I see it, I see it. It's behind that tree. So this is a snow ring. And then we can go back. There's nothing else really along this way. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. That's not true. Okay. I was getting, I just realized there was a scene. There's a scene at each of the springs. So we might as well finish along this path and go to the far spring. Yours, Yuna. Oh no. We are not fighting these. Can't stand these things. And they give you two of them to fight? No.
Oh, I keep meaning to switch Riku to attacking, and I keep forgetting. There we go. Switched her back to attack. It's a wrap. Fish just swimming in the sky. You know, since there are not really underwater segments in this game, they could have just not had those fish enemies. But they do, and they have them flying. Flying fish. Easy as pie. All right, so the first scene we need to view is over here at this spring. The Guado who sought shelter in these woods have returned home to Guado Salam. They were accompanied by Makalania's other races, who have already begun to fade away with this place. Alas, these woods have grown far too quiet. The woods are so empty. I guess this place doesn't have much time left. Kinda sad to think that all of this will be gone, huh? At least, we have our memories. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so after we watch that scene, we need to go back to the beginning spring. So this time we're going to go back along the iridescent path. It's sad that the wood is the woods are dying without the faith, because these woods were so helpful to us in getting the ultimate weapons. So we could defeat Sin. For realsies. So maybe they wanted to fade away. Maybe they were done. Alright, there's this chest here, which is a rune bracer. So you can get a rune bracer on the iridescent path. Alright, so then we're going to go over here and go to the other spring area. You don't know what happened uh, here, Pain. Sure.
I had to walk those couple of steps to trigger this, by the way. I'm not ready to call this just a memory. Not yet. Oh, you know. All right, episode complete. And Ray of Hope Garment Grid. All right, kind of like the Calm Lands, there's two episode completes in Makalania, so we have to go back. Not quite done. It's not a hot spot anymore, but it's lies. It is lies. We do have an episode complete there. So we're going to walk along the iridescent path so it's a little bit faster. Um, because we're going to the travel agency. Hello, baby skull kid. How are you doing? Are you having a good Sunday? All right, for this other episode, we have to go up here. Good, how are you? And yes, thank you for asking. I'm good, I'm good. We are having so much fun with this game. Okay, so before, ah, oh, I can't get it yet. I wanted to get that chest first. He cast away the family business and ran off for the hills. Gone a whole year ye were. And ye call yourself a walker on the 24th. But, but you opened the store again without even telling me. Why, I only left back then because my job was gone. I love how they have the well, same voice. I couldn't help it. I got an itch for peddling, I did. Oh. Oh, get in here. Don't want you catching cold. Brother. I'm right ready to pound some business sense into that hapless head of yours. But this doesn't strike me as the best place for getting customers. Once has good business sense. Can't he would sell us those Tetra. Head. Ones. Eyes, lad. The four blanks in ten. Our biggest customer has just graced us with her presence. Lady Yuna. Now's your chance to practice, lad. Do it just like I taught ye. All right. Well, welcome to Owakas. You buffoon! Put some spine <laughs> into it, lad. Follow me, example. Welcome to Owakas. <laughs> Welcome to Owakas. No, 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 Pain just walking away. I didn't ask ye. Riku goes. I guess. <laughs> and there we go. Episode complete. All right, and then we can open this chest, which is an elixir. Let's actually go inside and see what he's selling. Because we never looked. Welcome to our walkers. So this is what he has. He has a lot of stuff. So you can see you can purchase a lot of the lores that we got. So he's got like the sword lore, Bushido lore, arcane lore, nature's lore, black lore. Like we missed the Bushido lore, right? But you could buy it now if you wanted to. And if we were not really trying hard to get to the 2 million gil, we probably would buy that Bushido lore that we missed. So yeah, you can see what they do. This is Warrior, Samurai, Dark Knight, Berserker, 
um, black mage and white mage. And then we can board the airship from here. So we should be at, um, we did get some percentage points from Makalania. So we should be at 89.4% from that. So let's check and make sure. Yep, 89.4% according to our handy dandy tool. Okay, so next we are off to Mushroom Rock Road. We already did the top part of Mushroom Rock, Mo Ro Mushroom Rock Road, or as much as we could since we chose New Yevon, but we did not go down into the um, Den of Woe because we didn't have all the Crimson Spheres yet, but now we do. So we're gonna go down into the Den of Woe and uh, complete that part of Mushroom Rock Road. So again, there's two episode completes here, just like there is, there's two in several areas. There's the regular Mushroom Rock Road one for the um, Youth League, and then there's the Den of Woe episode complete. Yeah, Baby Skull Kid, I had some, um, I had some smoked cream cheese earlier. That uh, was a football snack for today. So it was, it was ready at two when I took my stretch break. So I had some of it. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, we had pepper jelly and peanut butter, and then we had a pizza one, which was delicious. Okay, there are some chests down here. This one right here is some turbo ethers. And then let's go through here. And if we go down this little, this little bit right here, there's another chest. Oh, battle first. So this is an elixir. And the other chest is here, I think? Yes. Also an elixir. So those are the three chests you can get down in the little ravine area that we didn't go into before. Now this next part was really hard the first time I did it. I was not prepared for the difficulty, so we are gonna switch to Dream Team. I am gonna look at my accessories when we get to the next save point so we can make sure that we are prepared because I was not prepared when we fought this before. It was actually really challenging. Okay, so let's do, let's equip Yuna and Pain with our Dark Knight. And she got Defense 60 and Strength 50. Ribbon. Magic Defense 60. Does she even... Can she break the damage? I don't even know if she can break the damage limits. That's probably useless. I think I want defense 40 instead of the magic defense. Okay. Yes, I want that. And she doesn't need AP egg right now. Doesn't need that. Let's give her some more defense too. Okay, let's save. Okay. Head in. This part is so scary. We got all the spheres, so we can open it now. All the crimson spheres. So because Pain was the recorder, it implies that Pain created all the crimson spheres and like scattered them around Spira. My past. Come on. I just want to point that out. <laughs> so Pain, you could have just kept them all and we could have just gotten in here. But no. 
All right, there's not any chests in here, I'm pretty sure, so we just need to go to the red arrow. I want to check what abilities I've got Riku and Pain on. Yuna's finished this Dress Sphere, so she's not going to learn anything. Okay, Ether. And then Dark Knight. Okay. Let's get her Char on. There we go. This way, this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no chests. Just a bunch of squirrely dead ends to distract you from the mission. These are some pretty scary, creepy zombies, though. The noises they make? Uh-uh. Okay, here we go. Something's coming. Yeah, my death. Cause I'm scared. <sighs> Guys. Who's recording this one? You okay? What was that? It's not a recording. It's I... in the air with the fireflies. No, that can't be right. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. There Artichoke dip for the hard battle, so give me good fuel for it. Turn. Those were the guys' memories from back then. Preserved by the Pyreflies. Memories. Or two-year-old nightmares. Older than that. <gasps> Shuyin! You? I wanted to rest forever. The fireflies make me relive that moment. Again and again and again. Mm. <gasps> no! 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 Riku! Something's wrong! Stay back! Uh oh. It got Riku in pain. Go away! Music being a source of power once again. That's how it is in Spira. It's really good. Nope, I'm good. Thank you, though. Julian can play though. I can see how he got Lin. That's enough.
Every time that seems so sad. Stay back. This is our story, Len. Don't make me say this again. Jean's such a shit listener. So we have to beat up the Friku. She's very fast. But we're going to do it. Because Dark Knight's really strong. Sorry, Riku. Sorry. Snap out of it. Pain, not you too. You have to defeat Warrior Pain. It's appropriate that Yuna uses Dark Knight for this because it's hurting her for the, to witness this and to see this. <clears throat> you have to set all of this before you get to the really actually hard battle. Fighting Pain and Riku right here is not hard, but the next battle is and you don't get a chance to really change um, or save or anything in between them. Shuyin is no ordinary unsent. Seems that way. When he died a thousand years ago, his feelings became intertwined with the fireflies, creating this apparition. He's like a dream, or a nightmare. He must have had some serious regrets for his feelings to act on their own like that. This is what destroyed the squad. Despair strong enough to crush the minds of those it touches. What just happened to us happened to them, too. Here, they felt Shuyin's despair. They went mad. And they died. They killed each other. <sighs> so sad. But I think the original Shuyin, you know, before the war started, was a lot more like Titus was when, when, we, when we met him. You know, very so carefree. I decided to use them. Despite having issues. You pay. And here we go. Got to fight Barrel Eye first. Dream Team Strategy, go! Ah! 
defeat the ghost bear lie. It's not the real one, it's Pyrofly creating bear lie. Next is Gipple. So what happened to me the first time I was here? I, I beat him. I beat Bear Lie, I beat Gipple. And I got to Nuge, the last one, and I could not get past Nuge. But we're gonna do it this time. Because we're much wiser than before. And I know how to use the Dream Team. Here we go. We're gonna wreck him. We're gonna wreck him so good. <clears throat> yeah, there's no reason to put the break damage limit accessories on them because they're not even close to it. I mean, I think I saw Pain do it one time on her Samurai or something at the 9999, but they're just not really doing that very much. No time for farewells. Oh, he attacks so fast. There we go. Easy peasy. No one uses my friends. Anyways, let's go outside. I don't want to be here. Me either. It was Shuyin. Two years ago, the guys encountered Shuyin's memories and learned of Vegna Gun. After we escaped, they said they would uncover the truth behind it. But then, Nuge shot us. We thought he'd betrayed us. But Nuge wasn't Nuge. I understand now. Shuyin was using him the whole time. Mm. Let's go find him, Pain. I'm going in there. Let Shuyin out. Agreed. We've got to free him from Shuyin. Not so fast. What? Remember when the three of them were meeting in the Bavel underground? All these fireflies came floating out of Nuji's body in a big cloud. And then they went whooshing into Barali's body. So doesn't that mean Shuyin's using Barali now? Oh. Hey, Riku, not bad. <laughs> I guess it's Barely we're saving then. By the way, you'll be helping. Why wouldn't we? Yeah, you've already dragged us all over Spira. Mm-hmm. Thank you. But those are your spheres you recorded. You could have kept them. So there we go. We got lots of stuff from that. <clears throat> got the Supreme Light Garment Grid. We got the one of the volumes for learning the rest of the Songstress abilities. Like, we did awesome. Okay. So unlike most other areas, we don't have to go back for any reason. But after that, we should be right at 91%. So that's what it says there. So I'm just going to check and make sure that's like 91.0, .0, 91 even. And it is. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So... Let's go look at what we have next. So we got a couple more places to go. We still need to do Jose. To finish Jose, we're gonna have to do a lot of digging. A lot, a lot of digging in um 
in Bee Canal. We gotta finish Bee Canal itself with uh with the cactuars. And we also have a bunch more floors of Bavel. Let's get let's get 20 more floors on Bavel. Let me go remind myself what order the Bavel bosses are in. Oh wait. You know what we need to do though? We actually need to go check on our chocobos. We need to go check on our chocobos. I forgot to do that before going to Mushroom Rock Road, which I meant to. And that was a really good artichoke dip. Okay, let's go. So let's save. Hey, Clasco. Safe and sound. <laughs> Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Okay. So none of them, none of them ran away. What are they at? 70 hearts. Okay. Let's just send them back out. Now we're going to go back to Bavel and let's try to do 20 more levels. Let's see. Bavel. Yes, yeah, so it's called Via Infinito. So we did the boss for number 20, for level 20. What's the boss for level 40? Oh boy, are we freezing? Don't freeze. Don't freeze, game. Okay. Whew. My computer went. What the heck? <laughs> it did not like me for a second. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's equip. Let's put Lady Lady Luck back on. Let's put a P egg back on her. And we're gonna put you back on Berserker. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the next one is the black elemental. Okay. Well, let's go try to, let's go get to level 40 and beat him up. Uh, start over from zero, continue from the deepest. Yeah, continue from the deepest. If I remember right, he's the, I don't remember having any trouble with the black elemental. Let's get to him and see what's up. Let's do it. I do remember having trouble with the boss for 60, right. but I got Berserkers leveled up for a cheese strategy for him. Cause I remember so well struggling. So I got that. Bring it, punk. Yeah, bring it, punk. Oh, why have I still got her doing mega potions? She could attack. Ate on my dip, but I have two chips left.
I wish I could figure out how you skip the Tonberry on this one. Oh, she's going to finish Berserker, too. I guess I'll put her back on Dark Knight so she can finish that one. Guys, get them. They're so gross. They love to eat me. We're not gonna let them. We're just gonna kill it. Yeah. Kill it before it has a chance. It stuck me up into his gullet. No gullet for me. starting to get into the more um, complicated layouts for the different levels. Mm. I thought I could just hop down. Is it this way? I don't remember. Do I have to fight him? I probably have to fight him. Or that's the easiest way anyway. Okay, I kick your ass. <coughs> there we go. Jeez, it takes 999. Nine, nine. Oh my god. Good thing I have the AP egg. <laughs> I think I have to hop on all three of these. And then it opens up. And then I gotta do the third one, and then it will open up in the middle. What? Yeah. That's the model for the one boss. It's at level 60. What is it, lady? I hear your meow meows. What you doing? I 
Are you having a good day, lady? Really? Guess I'll take a break. What? Oh god. We need you. A queerl and one of those squishy things? Fuck that. Goodbye. Lady, come here, I'll give you some pet. There you go. That help? Does that help? Well, well. Oh my god, the same group again. Hell to the no. Not doing it. They can't make me, lady. Oh, you're up here now. <laughs> I didn't pet you enough on the ground. You're up here now? Hello. Hello. Oh, God. <laughs> you're gonna make the microphone make all kinds of bad noises, lady. Hey, that's my plate. You don't want that. She's just like pacing back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Leave it to me. <gasps> Got your tail. Hey, you got an eye boogie. Can I get it out? Hey, come here, baby. Get it. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for letting me clean your eyeball. Thank you, baby. Oh God! <laughs> don't, don't, please, no. <laughs> That's a very loud sound, lady. <sighs> we don't want that. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hello, baby. You want to help me get this tomberry? You want to help me get this tomberry? Oh, these guys are so annoying. Let's see, can I kill it quick? They have such high defense. I'm so much stronger now, I feel like I should be able to kill it, but I'm not going to be able to if Lady is blocking the screen. Well, she definitely is, as you can tell by her tail in the camera. Oh god, Riku's dead. Okay. Come on, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it this time. What's the difference between grave robbing and archaeology? About a thousand years? <laughs> yes, yes. My cats, too. My cats, too. Welcome in, by the way, bittersweet apple. Welcome in. Um, my name is Karen Terry. Oh, we got it. Fuck yeah. That's, that's, for, that's because of you. That's because of you, Apple. You did that. Thank you for your good luck. Um, my name's Karen Terry. Um, I am a variety streamer. We do a lot of Final Fantasy, so if you like that, you should definitely uh, follow. Um, I think I followed you from another community. Oh, cool. I'm um, trying to remember which one. I don't know. So um, another stream I've been doing a lot of recently is um, uh, Hardcore Classic. Wow, Hardcore Classic. I've been doing a lot of that, so if you see that, then um, then you might have you might have noticed me from there. Uh, we haven't died yet on our stream character. The stream character is a warlock, so um, we haven't died yet. And uh, but I have a druid that's died twice, so I transferred her to Man Crick, and I've been still playing with her. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't. But anyways, so that's one thing I've been doing a lot recently. And then this is our Sunday game, Final Fantasy X-2. We're doing a new Yevon run here. Um, we also do like a monthly-ish podcast. The next one's going to be on the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. That's the Hunger Games prequel book. Um, what else? What else? What else? We do a lot of Sims too, but not lately. But not lately. Um, oh God, we're not doing this again. Um, so if you like any of that, that's what we're here for. I had a lot of fun playing WoW, but a lot of unneeded stress as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So yeah, our, our hardcore WoW, the Warlock run that we're doing, it's basically until we die. I'm gonna keep streaming her until, until we die. It was mostly other players. True. Tr 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 
true. T -t -t true. <laughs> um, I'm also part of Highlight, so you might have seen me in the Highlight Discord server. Oh my god, why? Um, can we do like a powerful mix? We got lots of dragon scales. We got lots of water. Let's do some water gems. Just destroy him. Damn it. Yuna died. Here comes my trump card. Okay, we need to keep, re keep Riku on Mega Potions. There we go. We just gotta keep her on Mega Potions when we encounter those guys, and then we can kill it. God, he's just got such high defense. But yeah, we play a lot of games from, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, so yeah. Hence the Final Fantasy X. We have a 100% run of, of 10. We also have a 100% run of Majora's Mask. Um, let's see, what else? We play some dating sims as well. That's usually what we play for, like, Halloween, Valentine's Day. I never did play this one. I did play Fifth of Ten a lot, though. That's because Ten's the best one. Ten is the best. Um, first time I ever forgot I was supposed to eat dinner. <laughs> I was 12, I decided to come out. I played all day from 10 a.m. Yes, Ten will do that to you. Ten um, is an amazing game. It's definitely my favorite Final Fantasy, for sure. Most of the Final Fantasies, like... I have either played a lot of them or beaten them, but 10's the only one that I have beaten multiple, multiple times. Oh. Oh, wait. I remember how to do this floor. We gotta go back. My dad asked if I was coming out for dinner before he knew it. I was just locked in as was. <laughs> yeah, 10's so good, though. It's so good. I know it's got some haters. Like, I know not everyone likes 10, but, like, those people are wrong. It's good. Okay, I gotta go around and push the one thing and then he'll disappear. Or I'll be- no, I can climb over him, that's what it is. It makes the thing appear so I can climb over him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, we're at the very end of the game at this point. This is the final chapter, and we're even in, like, um, an, an extra, like, difficult dungeon. This is where, like, the hardest boss in the game is at the end of this kind of area. There seems to be quite a bit of overlap between people whose favorite is 6 and 7 and those, and those who don't like 10. I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know either. Um, the criticisms I've heard of 10 are things like people don't like the combat. It's very like rock, paper, scissors, which I don't disagree. The combat is meh, you know. And then there's also the other criticism I've heard of 10 is people feel like it's um, it's not subtle, <laughs> which it's not. It's like, hey, you're supposed to be sad now. And and then like I cry. <laughs> but um, but I guess if you're not heavily affected by the, the themes of the game, you know, like religious trauma, daddy issues, if like none of those things like really hit for you, then I can see how you'd be like, mm, don't, it's not, I'm not that sad. Stop telling me to be sad. You know, so those are the two main criticisms I've heard of it. But yeah, I think they're wrong. I think they're wrong. And I, I love 10. Because I, I do vibe with it. I do vibe with the, uh, with the themes, the religious trauma, especially. Wee! Now we don't have to fight that bitch. I prefer 10's combat to what they've done the last few games. Don't disagree. I, uh, yes, I hear you. Um, <laughs> they keep trying new things, and I just, I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't, if the story is good, I don't need complicated combat. You know what Final Fantasy game has the best combat? This one, 10-2. This is the best. Just do this every game. Just do this dot type of job system. It doesn't have to be dress up with calling it dress spheres, but just like this type of situation. Um, every game. And the combat's fast, it's fun. I would be so happy. I would be so happy. I'm not calling them bad games. I enjoyed a lot of 15. Don't have a PS5, so I haven't played 16. Yeah, I haven't played 16 either. Um, but the combat's steering me away a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like, there's like, like a 13 gets a lot of hate, but I actually like a lot of elements of it. I just think that a lot of the characters are a little bit too angry for me. And I think Fang and Vanille's story is far more interesting than like the Lightning, Snow, Sarah story. Um, and Lightning's a bitch and needs to stop hitting people. Other than that, though, I actually like 13. Like, because once you once you get like Fang and Vanille and you know their story, like, I'm into that part. I love them. I can't remember if I pushed that button. Yeah, but I also like six and seven. Like I would say up until um, up until 10 came out, seven would have been my favorite, you know? Did I not dodge the Tonberry? Oh no, I did. <laughs> I was about to say, I could have sworn I dodged the Tomberry, the heck. But I did, I did. It was just a regular random battle. I like seven, but here's where I lose people. I prefer eight and nine. Oh yeah, yeah, you do lose people from there. So I never played nine. Like it just it just came out at an awkward time, you know? like when the um, consoles were changing over. So I never actually have played nine. I've seen playthroughs of it, so like I'm familiar, but I didn't play it myself. Eight, I tried. I didn't really like the draw system and the and I just didn't really like, I was not into Squall and Renoa as a couple. And that's a big part of eight. That's a big part of eight, but they were not for me. You know, they were not for me. So, I got this. Hey, you know. I so I wasn't that into eight. Um, but like, I think that, that the same thing that happened to me with eight happens to a lot of people with 10, where they're like, I don't really like Titus. I don't think he's a good main character. I don't like him and Yuna as a couple. I don't see it. I don't get it. Because that's how I felt about eight. I was like, Squall is not that interesting to me. Um, now, I was a teenager, of course, at the time. So, and I've not gone back and played it as an adult. I would like to someday. Maybe we'll stream it at some point. But because of that, I was just kind of like, eh. And I never really super got into eight. Squall is the biggest low point of eight. I won't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> he just doesn't do it for me. You know, he just doesn't do it for me. I just don't, like, I don't identify with him. Whereas, like, when I see Titus's reactions to the things that he goes through, like, with his dad and how he deals with, like, um, being famous and trying to, you know, replace the the hole in his heart from his dad from that like and how how he reacts to those sorts of things like that i can kind of like understand and identify with but squalls the way that he deals with his issues like i can't it just doesn't vibe with me or it didn't at the time so i only ever got like halfway through eight as a kid and then i dropped it I think Titus, if anything, is cringe at time is a lot more dimensions in Squall. That's how I feel, too. That's how I feel, too. Like, Titus, I can see exactly why he does what he does at the times where he is being a bit annoying. Whereas Squall, I just, it, I just don't feel it as much. Like, I don't feel like, okay, I get it. I totally get why you're being that way. Whereas with Titus, every time he does something that people criticize, I feel like I fully understand why he's doing it. Oh, this is the one I messed up before. I gotta remember how to do this layout. How much can I talk about Squall? Because I want to respect no spoiler rule. Oh, yeah, no, you can talk about him. It's okay. <coughs> I've seen, I've seen eight. I know how it goes. So you're not gonna spoil me. Um, if 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 it is something that I don't know, it's because I forgot. 
<laughs> but I did know it once upon a time because I've seen play plenty of playthroughs of eight. So if I don't know, it's only because I forgot. Not because I never knew. And I don't really mind spoilers personally. I don't really mind spoilers personally. Um, they don't really ruin most experiences for me. I have found that if spoilers can ruin something for you, then the thing probably wasn't that good in the first place. That's kind of how I feel. Because anytime I've gotten spoiled on something that is truly good, it was still good. It was still good, you know? Okay, um, abilities, let's go to... Oh wait, no, that was pain. Okay, all she's got is Howl left. Yeah, and then we'll put her on Dark Knight and I guess she can get that finished up too. I think we go up here? Yeah, we go up here and we fight the Tonberry. I feel like Squall's development mostly comes from getting everything he wanted. It does tie into Squall is dead theory. Um, but they're kind of right when after disc one, everything he gets is just grandiose, put into positions he would never be in, gets to have the love life when there was no hint whatsoever of him, any of that. It does feel like whenever the Squall and Renoa like romance part happens, that it comes out of fucking nowhere, which is why I can't get into shipping them, which is really what made me not interested in the game. I already wasn't that jazzed about the draw system. And then you're right, like that kind of happens, like the Renoa thing comes out of nowhere like I just don't I just don't I don't know what Renoa sees in him <laughs> that's like for real I'm just like I don't understand where this is coming from from Renoa's end and so it's kind of like oh not that into it is how I feel but you know if I'm if I'm still enjoying streaming long enough, like, I I would love to eventually do playthroughs of all the Final Fantasies, you know? I love Final Fantasy. Um, and doing 10 on here was very successful. Doing 10-2, we've had a lot of fun doing it. I'm gonna do, we're gonna do 200% of 10-2. So, like, we might do another Final Fantasy after we're done with this. And I will say I played 8 not, not long ago, and as adult Squall aged even worse, really? <laughs> That's sad. Because I, I feel like as an adult, I've become more sympathetic to annoying characters and understand them much better. Whereas when I was a kid, it was a bit like, um, you know, uh, shut up and get over it, <laughs> fellow teenager. <laughs> Whereas as an adult, I'm like, I'm a bit more um, quick to say like, but they're just a kid. My God, this person's like 17. I was annoying and stupid at 17 too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. But yeah, Final Fantasies I played as a kid was, um, 6, uh, 7, 8, skipped 9, and then I played 10. Um, and then I did actually play Final Fantasy 11 for, um, for a couple years. For like two years I played Final Fantasy 11. And then I've played 12 and 13. Um, I never beat 12, but almost. And then I beat 13. 14, I actually played 14. I played 14 when it first came out and it was crap. Um, and then I played again Realm Reborn. And then like, I didn't really get into the end game too much with raiding and stuff, but like I played through almost all the expansions um, for the story. And then 15, I didn't play 15. Um, it was just, it looked like a road trip with the boys, and it just didn't appeal to me. It just kind of made me be like, well, why can't I just play 10-2 and have a road trip with the girls instead? Um, and then I haven't played 16 yet. But even the ones I have not played, like, I've seen playthroughs of all of them, so I'm familiar with all of the Final Fantasies, whether I've played them or not. Oh, I can't jump down that way, okay. I thought I killed this guy in one hit last time. Maybe it's a stronger version? I guess, yeah, this must be stronger behemoth. It was a different behemoth before.
Uh, rude. Oh, he cast Meteor upon death. That's not fair, though. You shouldn't get to do that. You're already gone. You don't get to cast one more. This way? This way? Yes, there we go. Oh, well, there was a 9999 that Pain did. So I guess they can, if they crit, they can go over the damage limit. So there might be might be a reason to do the break damage limit at some point. Okay, what floor are we on? Ah, it's Cloister. Okay, 40. Um, let's, let's equip the Dream Team. Dream Team, Dream Team. I'm here to beat you up. Is that Seymour's dad? It looks like Seymour's dad. All right, Dark Elemental. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. I meant to darkness. Yeah, that's not going to do shit. There we go. That does shit. 5k. You love to see it. Ow! That's not right. That's not right. Oh, can I... Oh, I can't revive her. We killed him too fast. I didn't get to revive Riku. So she didn't get any XPs. Okay. So our prize for beating him is a Moon Bracer. All right, and a Shining Bracer, and a Speed Bracer, and a Recovery Bracer, and a Catnip. <laughs> so that's what we get. Catnip is super nerfed in the HD version, though. It's not like in the original, unfortunately. All right. Um, yes, let's return to the surface. Okay. I'm going to... I want to know if you get percentage points from, like, each level. So let's save. And I want to see if we got any. Because we were at 91% before we went in there, okay? And we're still at 91%. So we didn't get any extra points from defeating that boss. All right. All right, you guys. Okay, so we are actually going to end here for today. So if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And we're going to be back next week with some more Final Fantasy X-2. I uh, knew you haven't run, so I will see you there. All right.